Oh, no, this one is... Ugh, it makes me feel sick. Not gonna smell it anymore. Hey guys, it's me Kim from Frankency Vlog. And this will be part two of my vintage perfumes tryout. And um, if you haven't seen part one, then I suggest you watch that one after this one. And in case you already watched it, we'll continue right away. Um, so I have, let me check, six fragrances in front of me. And um, I'm just going to start with the first one that caught my eye. And it is Poem by Lancome. Um, this is an old bottle, by the way. I really like the um, Lancome you can buy nowadays. Um, I don't really think a lot of people wear that scent anymore. I only know that Jasper, his sister, really likes it. And every time we smell this fragrance, we think about her. Um, but this is the old one. So I'm just going to show you how it looks. The bottle looks like this. Um, and let me see. Oh, this is awesome. It's a spray miniature. I wish all the miniatures would have like a spray on top. It makes it so much easier to try it out. Um, so like I did in my other video, I'm just going to spray it on a piece of tissue paper. And then I will tell you what I think about it. Well, it already has a really different opening than the modern poem. It smells very soapy and sweet um, and I really like it so far I think it's less sweet than the new formula it's more floral and soapy in my opinion mm. but yeah you can definitely smell that it's poem um, but it's very different than the one I know from nowadays. And I think when I was younger, I, I used to have a friend of me and her mom also wore Poem. And that was in the 90s. So I think it's this one because it doesn't smell unfamiliar to me. Mm. And I can remember that she also had a pretty similar box um, like this in her bedroom I really like it so far um, like I did in my other video I just just leave these tissue papers and then by the end of the review I will smell everything again the next fragrance is by Caron Paris and it looks like this and the perfume is called Aimes Moi Eau de Toilette I don't know this one. This very unusual. Oh, I think it's a flower. How stupid of me. Um, this one smells a lot like alcohol in the beginning. It's very strong. Kind of makes me a little feel uncomfortable. I'm not sure if this one is still okay. I will leave it for a moment and I'll come back to it later because maybe this one needs a little bit more development. Mm, the next fragrance is Boucheron Paris Eau de Parfum. Um, and, the and I know this fragrance. I've seen it in stores but I never smelled the old one. I don't even think I smelled a new one. On the Okay, just applied it on a piece of paper. This one still smells good. Um, it's very... Um, it reminds me of something I know already. Like Frederick Mall, um, Musk Raffiger. Kind of smells like this one, I think. 
I'm not sure if there's like civet in this one, but it smells very animalic and it has the same kind of animalic thing I also smell in uh, Frederick Malay's uh, Musk Ravager. I think this is pretty good, um, but I will come back to it later. We have three perfumes to go. The next one will be MF Marilla Ferreira Eau de Parfum. I don't know this, honestly. I don't know this brand. Oh, this is very pretty. It reminds me a little bit of um, Wish by Chopin. Now I see that there are like flakes in this fragrance. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but there are tiny little flakes in the juice. I'm not sure if it's still okay, but we will smell that. It also reminds me a little bit of The Sims. Okay. Mm, this one doesn't smell good either. I can't smell this. It's probably gone bad. Okay, I'll leave that one. I have two perfumes left. Um, this one is by Luciano Soprani, number two, Eau de Toilette. I also don't know this brand. Another very cute bottle. I hope this one is okay. That's the um, kind of uh, the risk when you smell vintage fragrances or old ones. You don't know if they are still okay. And when they are, you are very lucky. This one is still good. And I'm really surprised by it because it smells so fresh. It is a very citrusy, green. It's very, very citrusy, a little soapy. It smells very modern in my opinion. It really smells just like you just washed your hair. Um, because I expected this one to be very heavy. I don't know why, maybe because all the other ones are quite heavy. But this one is really fresh and it smells very good. So come back to that later. The last fragrance is Egoist by Chanel Eau de Toilette. Still in the original packaging. The bottle is very cute. Oh my god, this one is heavy. Oof, I'm not sure if this is supposed to smell like this. But I don't like it. It makes me feel a little uncomfortable as well. Alright, I'm just I'm coming back to that one <laughs> later in the video. Like I did with in the other video, I'm going back to the first fragrance and do a quick recap of it. And then by the end, I will tell you which one is my favorite um, and which one I will keep and the ones I will put back uh, in the bag and give it back to my friend. So Poem is just very good. It still smells exactly how it is in my memory. And I'm pretty sure that, um, like the mom I told about in the 90s, uh, the mother of a friend of mine, she wore this, and I'm pretty sure it was this one. It's a lot fresher than the current poem, and I think it's very good, so I'll definitely keep this. Then, um, the Amai Amois by Caro. This one smelled awful, so, and it still does. But it kind of developed, but it really smells like chamomile tea. It's just, yeah, it smells like chamomile. And hay, and not something I would like to wear. Then, going to Boucheron. It's just a very musky perfume. Very musky. I really like it. Um, I was wearing Kiehl's original mask yesterday and now it kind of smells like the Kiehl's fragrance so I'm keeping this um, one which one did I try after that I think it was this one um, 
Oh, no, this one is... Oh, it makes me feel sick. Not gonna smell it anymore. Oh, I'm so sensitive when it comes to smell. Oh, I can already feel my head uh, doing weird things. Um, number two by Luciano Soprani. Very fresh, very modern. Uh, still in a very good condition. I just really like this one. Keeping this one as well. Goesta by um, Chanel. It's a men's fragrance, by the way. Oh, no, 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 no. This one isn't good anymore. Uh, I have the same reaction with the other one. These two are the worst, in my opinion, because they are just not good anymore. And my favorite one is, I think, Poem, because I have so much memories when it comes to this scent. Um, and I'm so happy that it still smells good. Doesn't smell like it's gone bad. So yeah, this was number two of this Smelling Vintage Fragrances series. If you are new to my channel, um, I do a lot of fragrance reviews. Feel free to subscribe. And if you don't want to miss anything, make sure you click on the bell. Um, because then you will get a notification when I upload something new. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys soon. Bye bye.